Air pollution is the biggest environmental risk to human health in the UK. The Clean Air programme is funded by UK Research and Innovation. The innovation pilots are focused around air pollution issues. The UK has acknowledged expertise in both research and innovation and this programme is all about bringing them together to bring the right solutions to make sure that we can breathe clean air in the future. There's been an enormous increase in people getting home deliveries and although we can electrify the delivery fleet itself in the future, the secondary diesel engines which refrigerate the produce create enormous amounts of emissions in our local streets. The Hubble project is looking to do away entirely with secondary diesel engines on refrigerated vehicles. The food sector has a lot of challenges around emissions and the types of vehicles that are used. The chiller itself is taking anywhere up to 25% of the fuel energy requirement to run that vehicle. So the target really is to take it away completely. And we came up with this concept of a pod modular system, which there are some existing pods out there, but we've adapted and developed them in a very specific way to really fit the market that we're targeting, where we've got multi-temperatures within the same vehicle and that effectively comes down to the food service sector for restaurants and bars and hotels and so on and also the convenience store market. The world of last mile delivery associated with grocers has boomed significantly and it's here to stay. With this solution all the energy inputs which effectively go into a chill battery which has approximately four times the chill energy capacity that ice would have. All of that energy is based at the depot, and at the depot level, you can actually select the type of energy that you're putting into the system. So it can be through a smart meter system. Ideally, it would be using renewable directly off the roof of the depot. We service takeaways, restaurants, as well as other wholesalers across the UK. We have frozen stock, which goes up to minus 22 degrees. So it's very important for us to make sure the products there are kept frozen till they get to the customer's premises. If you have a frozen lorry, we have to leave it running overnight. So it's fueling emissions. So it's just trying to cut down the cost as a business as well as be environmentally friendly. Hubble sent us a trial box, which we would use for a week or two. They've given us an additional five to test them fully. So far, it's been good. So we've had return delivery come back to the warehouse. And normally, in an old scenario, we would check the box, it'd be defrosted and go straight in the bin. But one of Hubble's boxes, it come back and it was still frozen. The box keeps its temperature. Before, a driver would get to the customer's premises, check the temperature to make sure it is the temperature they should be before he delivers it to the customer. The advantage with the Hubble boxes are that they're tracked. It helps us find out where the boxes are and we can see from the warehouse that the box, the product is still frozen when it gets to the customer's premises. Fleets at the moment are divided between ambient fleets and chilled fleets. A traditional chiller will commonly go out with a lot of ambient material in it that's actually been chilled, and so there's a misuse of energy effectively. Weight is one of the key areas. Obviously, if we can reduce weight on a vehicle, there's an energy saving. Taking the body off of a chiller vehicle, the associated fuel that runs that chiller, and the actual compressor and chiller system itself, compared to putting a pod system in, that equates to between 1,000 and 2,000 kgs of weight benefit. And that weight can be used either for the batteries when we go electric, or, of course, additional vehicle payload, you know, which is a key thing. And that, across a fleet, could represent the reduction of 20% of the actual vehicles. We can run this whole system on an ambient fleet. When you look at the headline emissions reduction that this could achieve, it is significant, massively significant, because we're not saying that we're reducing the emissions on vehicle, we're eliminating the emissions on vehicle. As Jacob Foods, we recognise that it's a problem. Keeping your lorries running at night, wasting fuel, as a growing business, we're going to be ahead of the curve. It just helps us save money at the same time we're trying to be cautious on the effects it has on the climate. The Hubble project uses really ingenious innovation, but also has a huge commercial potential, and that's something that really stood out for us.